you not to come this far? I just wanted to see. I remember a place. If we get stuck out here, I'll kill you. Would you? Relax. I know it's out here. Do you love me? Do I love you? Baby, please. Do you have to ask? The girl likes to hear it. Since when are you one of those type of girls? Hey, look, hey, I'm just kidding around and playing. You know, when you ask me a question like that, it makes me think that you think I don't love you. So do you. Come here. So that. Hey, hey. Take this. You have to do it. Do it. Do it, God damn it. You're going to just get right here. Do it!
So she said, baby, is that what I think it is? And I said, yeah. That is a certifiable last Snickers bar on the face of the earth. So she says to me, what I gotta do to get some of that Snickers bar, baby? And I told her, I said, honey, if you wanna get down with some nuts and some chocolate, you're gonna have to get down with some nuts and some chocolate. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you even listen to me? Sorry, I'm just, I'm tired. I don't even know why we're here. Ah, uh, come on, you know why. Man, who told you about this shit? A friend of a friend. A friend of a friend. As far as I'm concerned, this is a complete total fucking waste of time. Mm. So you'd rather be back at base camp? No, we're gonna be back out here tonight. Might as well get some shut eye. There. Where? Right there. Damn. Yeah, see, I told you. Daywalker. One shot. You winged him! I said one shot. It must have been a crosswind. <sighs> What did you say? Oh, uh... oh, fuck. Better call the sin.
What's your name? What's your name? I don't know. You don't know where you won't say. I don't know. Well, what do you know? I know something's fucked up. It's been a war, or something happened to the government. Oh, and your men were trying to kill me. Mistaken identity, and you're lucky they didn't. Just what the hell's going on? You really don't know. How far back do you remember? Get him some food, right, some more water. Okay. So it's classic amnesia. It appears so. What would be the cause of that? Aside from the wounds inflicted upon his capture, there doesn't appear to be any sign of trauma or apparent head injury. I'm ruling on a stroke, but I can't rule out viral-based encephalitis or some sort of disassociative psychogenic amnesia. On the other hand, if the cause is viral, he could be one of those we heard about. It's possible. I, I can't say for sure. I don't have the equipment here to confirm his status. No, I'm going to make your best guess. He does have some scarring. Previous injuries on his hand, arm, and torso. These all point to a viral cause. Thank you. Sorry for your loss. We all are. Kevin was a great man. I 
want to go out on patrol tonight. That's not a good idea. All right, we need you strong. I want to kill as many of those buckets as I can. Don't worry. You'll get plenty of chances. All right, we got enough for two, four days max, depending on the intensity of the attack. If we get another one like last night, maybe even less. I want to thank those of you who are being careful with your ammo. We owe you a lot. Now I'm going to ask you for even more. Then why would we leave? We go further out in the desert and away from all this. Who can answer that? What do we have here that we all need? Susan! <laughs> Susan. And what else? Water. Right. We have a supply of fresh drinking water. We can go further inland. We can go all the way to the mountains. They won't get us there. But we'll all die just the same. Y'all, I'd be willing to bet that we'd find water inland. When was the last time you saw rain? How many of you are willing to gamble that we'll find water? This is insanity. So we make a run for the ammunition. Great. Some of us die. So we've got the ammo. How much of it can we get back here, and how long is it going to last us? I mean, come on. Soon we'll be right back here in this same spot again. It's a tough situation. But until we find something better, we have to stick together. It's the only chance we've got. All right, let's move. They're at the perimeter. Let's move. Susan, get Emily out of here. I told you to stay behind. Who's at the perimeter? Welcome to hell.
get him of her. Oh. Really necessary? Yes, it is. Fuck. Maybe I'm just not thirsty. Drink. You know the rules. The first sign of infection is hydrophobia. The virus is like rabies. The infected can't drink water. Instead of water, they drink blood. Given the chance, they'll rip your throat out. I'll take away the retail. Was gonna kill me. Yeah, she does things like that. Whoa, slow down, sister. I'll come with you. The hell are you on? What do I need a gimp like you for? I thought you might enjoy the company. Anyway, you never know. I might come in handy. supposed to stay at camp. He probably saved your life. Yeah, well, it's not worth it. I, don't you know who he is? What he is? You risked our future, our chance at even having a future, by bringing him out here. What are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? Before the cities fell, there was this rumor that uh, there were some people that were immune to the virus. I think. They got infected, they got a fever, they fell into a coma. When they came out of the coma, the virus was gone. So we were trying to find some of those people. You know, we thought maybe if we got some of their blood, we could like develop a, a serum, a vaccine. That virus just exploded so fast. That's all we could do to survive. The infected controlled the cities, and we all fled out into the wasteland. So what are you saying? What, you, you think that, that I might be one of these immune people? I don't know. But what I do know is that the immune people, when they woke up out of their coma, they had amnesia. Where were you when you woke up? I was on a lake. I was in a boat on a lake, um, small boat, rowboat. 
I had no identification, nothing, nothing on me. It looked like I'd been set adrift. There was food, there was water, basic rations. They didn't last long. And the sun was unbearable, so I swam ashore. And when I got ashore, I started walking. And I walked, and I walked. Oh. And then I ran into him. Nice to meet you. Yeah, pleasure's all yours. on fire. We got about 10 hours of daylight. The truck's filled with water, but frankly, without more ammunition, we're not going to be able to make it through another night. We'll get overrun. What about Hobbs Reservoir over by the pass? It's not too far away, and if I remember, the pumping stations work. Yeah, we tried that already. The water's contaminated. What about the Alabama Hills near Lone Pine? I mean, we overran them there before we got here, and we didn't have the weapons we have now. And I know there's water there. Yeah, that's good, but there might be other groups there. If you need ammo, I might know a place. It's somewhere I, I saw about 15, 20 miles away before I came here. There was like a load of military vehicles just abandoned. They're strapped. There was something else. There was, it was a processing plant. I think there'd be machine shops there. If we can find a lathe, we can make a bullet mold. Well, it's a start, isn't it?
knew you were in there. The new guy. Dallas said he may be able to fix you. I'm not gonna give up on you. You understand? I'm sorry. I couldn't do it. So you endanger all of our lives to bring him here? What would you do? I'd have pulled the trigger, like you said you did. I right, look, we'll take Emily back to camp. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna deal with it. Strongest one we've got. Talk to Susan about that. Uh, if we get a serum, we're gonna need a test subject. Right? If you'll agree to that, he can live. If not, take your share of the supplies and go. That's the best I can do. Good. All right. Get him sedated. We're gonna leave in a half hour. All right. He stays chained up just like that, and I want a muzzle on. I'm not taking any chances. Clear for now. First priority is get the high ground, all right? Get the truck covered up, get the solar panels out, but make sure they're not exposed or they can't be seen by anyone from a distance. Any kind of trouble, shoot up a flare. If we're not back by nightfall, don't come looking for us, all right? Just assume we got stuck somewhere and we'll be back in the morning. You got it? We should stick together, Dallas. Michael, we've been over this. Where we're going, there's a much greater chance of running into trouble, either from night runners or just flat out hostiles. We'd run a lower profile by ourselves, and we don't have to risk everybody for this. Just be careful. Thanks. You too. If you see somewhere that looks like a clinic or a medical facility, you know what to get. Centrifuge, beakers, cooler, microscope. Incubator. Incubator. Yeah. Maybe they've got an infirmary at the mine or something. We'll keep an eye out. All right. Good luck. Thanks.
Those things, they're nocturnal, them, right? They don't come out during the day. They're photosensitive. When they first get the virus, they could be out in the daylight. But it quickly becomes too painful for them. Vampires. Light doesn't kill them. So, where do they go during the day? Look, I know what you get. Find them, kill them while they're vulnerable. Exactly. We tried that. numbers were in our favor. It worked. But once the infection spread, too fucking many of them. Look, if we can rearm ourselves, stabilize, if we can find a place to hold up, try and develop a serum. I know it's a long shot. It's the best we got. Like this. I, for one, would rather be here than where they're going. Dallas knows what he's doing. Why aren't we going with them? They can't come with us right now, sweetie, but they'll meet up with us later. Somebody woke up. <laughs> when? I don't know. As soon as they can. I want to go with them. If I get sick, will you burn me up? You're not going to get sick. I'm here to protect you, OK? OK. OK. So, when you first found me, when you shot me, that was because you thought I was one of them. What do you call them? Night runners? The infected? Yeah, that's right. But you found me during the day, and now you're saying they only come out at night. Maybe I didn't like the way that you looked. No. No, it's, uh, we heard from another group that some of them can come out during the day. Daywalkers. Bullshit. I heard about them from a guy who went into the city. 
He said he saw them in broad daylight, hordes of them, and it took all he could just to get out. Maybe the virus mutated, I don't know. I'm not a pathogen expert, but why would he make something like that up? Until we get clear evidence otherwise, we operate based on what we know. Stay out of the dark. Stick together at night. Don't get bit. We deal with what we know. When there's a few of them, they're easy to manage. In the case of night runners, you get a small number, you can fend them off pretty easy. You see a big bunch, run. They're like locusts. When they get in a large group, their behavior changes. When they start collecting together, it, they get more violent, more aggressive. It's off the scale. The more of them they are, the worse it is. It's like they're different species. Instead of an individual, they act as one, and I've seen it. A wave been on death and destruction. Every ounce of energy used to feed and kill, in fact. Where are they now? Depends how recent this attack was. If they stripped the town of victims, they might be long gone. Yeah, but if it's recent, you can bet that they're still here, hiding in the dark. Over there. That looks like a mine. Gold mine, if I had to guess. Oh, great. A mine. You can stay in the car if you want. And who's gonna have your back, Papa Smurf? I think so. I'm here to whip some ass. Do you know how to use that? I think I can figure it out. Hey, look, I'm gonna tell you this for your benefit. When we go in there, you gotta be so quiet, you can hear a mouse fart from 50 yards away. Noise is not a good thing. Um. <clears throat> Why do we want to be listening for mouse farts? They sleep during the day. The mice sleep during the day. No! Shh. I'm not saying that they're in there. But if they are, it's best to let sleeping dogs lie. All right? So there's dogs and mice in there. Have we got to listen out for the dog farts as well, then? Hey, Mary Poppins, do me a favor. Shut the fuck up, all right? What are we looking for? Anything that can be used to make bullets or be useful. All right. There's no lathe. 
There's a lot of good scrap metal. Let's take what we can carry now. Yeah, Maybe we'll come back with the truck. There's tons of raw material here. miles ahead, heading this way, two vehicles. Did they spot us? You can count on that. Maybe they didn't see us. I love that you're an optimist. Bingo. Dallas! Perfect. How are we gonna power it up? One step at a time. Dirk, let's go. We can't outrun them. But if we make it to the hills, we might be able to lose them on foot. You mean abandon the vehicle? To come after us, they'd have to do the same. It's never gonna work. Listen, any of those yahoos come near us, I'll take them out. Got it? I've dealt with worse before. What's important right now is to stay calm. There's got to be another way out of here. Yeah, don't panic. There is. I've seen one. Downstairs, ground level. All right, let's go.
man. It's a nine millimeter. They're not gonna be too happy if they make it out of there alive. Well, you better see about getting this thing running then. Yeah. She's got a spare tank. Ah, oh, shit. She's rigged to blow. Well, can you disarm it? Yeah, I could if I were bomb squad. They're not gonna be driving around with this thing armed. There's gotta be a kill switch. Trunk. Following protocol. He's not a zombie. Not yet. God, geez, man. God, have some respect. Got to deal with whoever locked us in here. Did you get out here, man? You all right? Who are your friends? It would be nice to have you back at camp. We all thought you was dead. You can put that down now. I'm sorry. You're not mad? Well, that all depends. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hey! Ain't no hard feelings for what happened in there, huh? How are we supposed to know it was you? Come on, we gotta get you back. Yeah. Bit busy right now. Yeah? What is it? I'm helping them. Helping them? Yeah. We got some strange cargo. He's one of ours. 
So you're gonna make them a pet? That's none of your fucking business. I'm helping them. That's all there is to it. Hey, you didn't have to explain yourself to me. Listen, maybe we can help to make up for this, uh, misunderstanding. Yeah, all right. We need ammo. Sure. Hey, no problem. Why don't we get that stuff back at camp, huh? Reaver will be happy to see you. It'll be dark soon. Come on. Yeah, why don't you just tell me where the camp is? I'll drop by later on tonight. It's the same place as always. Why would we move? Listen, I don't think I can let you leave. Look, why don't we go with you? We'll help your friends get back, and then we'll go see Reaver. How's that? Well, why don't you just give us the ammo? We can see you back here tomorrow. Same place, same time. How about that? What's wrong with you, man? I gave them my word. Does that mean anything to you? It's going to be dark in about an hour. I, uh, Susan and Sylvia, they'll hunker down for the night. They're good at that. Now look at them. They look like good Samaritans to you? So we don't want to lead them back to our people. I say we go with them, spend the night, we'll be on our way in the morning. Are your people? They're not the ones in that armored truck heading north on 395, are they? You've seen them? No, but I've seen the truck. Before we got here, it was heading north into the Alabama hills with an entourage on their tails. Now, you didn't have anything to do with that, did you? Like I said, it'll be dark soon. Whatever happened to them, it's suicide to go out until morning. We are going after the truck. You can come with us, stay here, do what you want. We're going, you're not stopping us. Tell Reaver I'll see him tomorrow, OK? Can't do it now. OK, 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 look, okay, Thorne, we got the truck. Look, we didn't know they were with you, Thorne. How the fuck were we supposed to? Where are the people? I don't know about them, they were gone. They abandoned the vehicle. They're in the hills somewhere. Look, come back with us, and tomorrow we'll help you look for them. If they keep their heads down overnight, they have a chance. It's a small chance. I know. But hell, the Night Runners cleaned out this area. I would be surprised if there were too many of them up there. If I find out you had anything to do with that, you and the bearded lady are fucking dead. We weren't even there. We heard it on the short wave, they caught up to the truck, and it was empty. I swear. Our truck. We know you have it. We want it back. Then you can have your people and we'll be on our way. Got it? I did here on good faith. But when someone steps into my house pulling weapons, they're gonna pay for it. Thorn, you of all people should know that. It's late. I'm tired. Just give us the fucking truck. I think we have a friend of yours. We can start with her and move to the rest of your pals, if necessary. We've got enough C4 rigged to this thing. 
to take us all out. Your serve. Whee! That's one thing I like about a delusional bastard like you. You somehow know how to keep it fun. You can have your people. Release them. Good luck, Thorn. You're gonna need it. There are too many of them. We couldn't make it to the hills. Where's Dirk? Dirk didn't make it. Let's get the hell out of here. minimum we need to make a serum we can test? To start basic medical equipment, syringe, needles. We have those already. Beyond that, we need test tubes and a centrifuge. With that, we can separate antibodies from plasma. So medical supply could definitely work if it hasn't been looted. What about a school, university? They've got labs, haven't they? Deep Springs. It's in the valley beyond the White Mountains. Not a soul for 100 miles. It's a farm and a research facility. We could set up and do the testing there. So then we take everybody. Might be the only place we keep everybody safe. able to take all of them on.
Situation like this, you got two choices. You run or you fight. We don't run. Cutters, a saw, or something. I'm on it. Emily, just look 
to me. Go ahead to God. Bloody hell have you been. <laughs> I was looking for you. You were the only thing I remembered. Don't say anything. I need to ask you a question. Have you got any bolt cards? I'm gonna need a new pair of pants. <laughs> okay. I'm going to bring him out of it now. Should be enough time to see if the serum is effective. The photosensitive response is the first test. Should give us a clear indication if the virus is active. Can take the gag off. Who the hell are you people? We are friends. I'm Nakata. Right. He's got a drink for us. No, it worked. We gave him the antibodies from Thorn's blood. What are you saying? Thorn's not immune. He's infected. But this is something different. He's conscious. Sentient. This is something we haven't dealt with before. We heard from another group that some of them can come out during the day. Daywalkers. I heard about them from a guy who went into the city. He said he saw them in broad daylight, and it took all he could just to get out. We weren't making a cure. We're making a contagion. What are you talking about? We were wrong. You're not immune. You're carrying the virus. Dirk was right. Daywalker. Hold on. That son of a bitch killed Dirk! He's one of them. Calm down. Just hold on. Did they bite you? Were you bitten? No. You.
I love a boy. He's coming with us. What are you talking about? You're not thinking of letting them go. Nobody's leaving. Just you try and stop us. Fuck you! <laughs> Anyway. You go around back and head them off. What are you doing? This is war. It's either us or them. If it has to be done, I'll do it. I need cover. If any of the infected leaves, the virus wins. We can go to the city. There's people there like us. Survivors. We'll be safe. Yeah, it sounds idyllic. Yeah, we can run around and scavenge blood and tear people's throats out. It's not like that. Then what's it like, babe? Tell me. What is it like? But it must be another way. There is another way. Dallas! What? I don't want to fight, Dallas. I'm standing up. Don't shoot! We can wipe this out, Dallas! Oops. 
Stop. S s stop. Look. I don't know any of you people here, all right? Whatever's going on here doesn't concern me. Let me go. All right? I believe you will never see me again. He can't do that. Why? Because I love you. <laughs>